For 24 years, Bose worked on what it hoped would be a revolutionary electromagnetic suspension system that would offer an incredibly smooth ride for cars. The secret project was called Project Sound. You should be able to build a car that basically flies along the ground, stays level all the time. So when you get to a bumpy road, it should stay level, and when you turn and brake, it should stay level. When we started the project, we actually started with a luxury sedan. So we bought two, we put one to the side, and we modified the other. This is the unmodified vehicle. That's what we're starting with. And it's gonna come down at a good rate of speed, and then it's gonna make a hard turn lane change, and then we're gonna do a very hard braking maneuver. Then it'll come over these bumps, and then it'll slalom back. So now the white car, same make, same model, same everything, except completely modified suspension system. We'll bring the cars down one after the other at a fairly slow clip. And I just want you to watch the body motion through them. <laughs> to finish the demo, Bose gives us a look at a springy feature it had no intention of putting into a passenger vehicle, but is a fun way to show off how high tech and powerful the suspension system is. <laughs> is there a visual sensor then that can sense the, the depth of it? You know, it's funny, right after we did it the very first time, I remember the person asking Dr. Bose that same question, and his answer was, he said, when I was six years old, I started studying magic. The first two things they tell you about magic is, never repeat the trick, and never tell them how you did it. <laughs> In the end, the project was a technical success, but a commercial failure. The suspension system was deemed too heavy and too expensive to integrate into mainstream vehicles. Bose was able to use what it learned from the project to create a special car seat for truckers called Bose Ride. Bose says it sold lots of seats, but it's still a niche product for them.